Hi, welcome to Charlotte Public Library's Pick of Pick Books Talk with me, Ms. Jennifer. I'm going to share with you today some of our newest books to our collection about being you and owning it. The first book I have to share with you today is called I'm Fun Too by Jonathan Fenske, published by Scholastic Books. This book is a book about a Lego minifigure who doesn't feel like he has anything special to offer the world. Uh, he is just kind of plain and he doesn't have any flashy clothes or wild hair and he's not really standing out in any sort of different way. So he feels like, um, like he's not special. So he soon discovers that his talents and his dreams have no limits because he does have things to offer and he is fun too. And um, it's just a really short, sweet, inspiring story. It has speech bubbles throughout the book pages uh, for the Lego minifigures to have conversations. And then there's also standalone phrases that are written in all caps and have motion across the page. So it's a good book for students learning on working on their fluency skills or um, young readers who are practicing reading longer picture books. So what we like to do in our house with books like this is just take turns reading those sections of the pages. So one person can read all the speech bubble words and then the other person can read all the standalone phrases. So it's a great partner read aloud. The next book I have to share with you is called All Because You Matter by Tammy Charles and Brian Collier. This book was um, written in the inspiration to evoke a conversation between parents and children about the current racial climate in our country. And it's written in a way that anyone who's ever felt marginalized can relate to the empowerment these words convey. If you've ever been a new kid in a school, if you've ever moved to a community where you were not mirrored in the majority, or you have a family name that reveals your ethnicity, whether it be of African-American descent or any of the hundreds of other ethnicities that represent our country, population of Americans, then you'll definitely see yourself in this book. My takeaway from this book is we all matter. And together, if we own our family history and we own our family culture and our given names, then we can take our differences and our similarities and we can um, make an important impact on the world. This book is also really cool to me because I got to meet the um, illustrator, Brian Collier. He is a Cattle Cut Honor winner. And as you can see on the cover of this page, or the, the, the book cover, that a lot of his illustrations have lots of bright colors in them. And they also have different um, shapes. So he uses uh, colorful shapes and then also um, drawing illustrations to convey his own story amongst the pages with the words. So you can really feel a lot of his emotion and his um, vibrancy for life in a lot of his illustrations. And when I met him in person, he's a very, very, very energetic guy. So um, it's just his illustrations are really neat and, um, and, and different and unique and, and kind of just, um, you can feel his emotions throughout each page. So I really enjoyed this story. And there's also a note in the end of the book from both the author and the illustrator, which just give the story a little bit of a personal touch. They tell you why that they wrote the book and um, what it means to them and what message they were trying to convey. So um, it's just a nice, nice ending to the story to, to have that personal touch. I hope you enjoyed this one. The next book that I have to, re to share with you is Sticks and Stones by Patricia Palacco. If you've ever heard the phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, then you know that the topic of bullying is being discussed. And this story is about bullying, but it's also about friendship. It's about finding about what makes you special and what you have to offer in the world regarding your passions. I would definitely, um, this is definitely a longer picture book, and I would suggest it for the older crowds of um, the prime grades, probably age, grades three to seven. And um, they would get the most out of the content in the story, I think. But that doesn't mean that younger and older grades couldn't, um, couldn't appreciate the content in this story. So this would make a great teaching book for multiple lesson topics. Bullying, um, being yourself, finding your true passions. It's written from a firsthand experience by Patricia Polacco, who is a Michigan author who has lived in Michigan. And it's about three friends who find their respite in their friendship. And um, she also mentions various Michigan towns throughout the book. It's um, just a really great story 
that I appreciated from adult perspective too. It ignites a sense of appreciation for all the struggles that you endure growing up, um, finding out where you have a place in the world. And there's also a special note, a personal note at the end of this story too, from Patricia Flacco, and um, just gives it a nice touch at the end. So I hope that you enjoy getting a chance to read some of these titles. They are all ready for checkout at the library. So we are um, open for curbside delivery or in-person services when the library's open. And um, for our hours, you can find online on the website. And you can also put books on hold through our Biblio Commons program on the website. So come on in, uh, check out these books. And then we have lots of other titles about being you and, and owning it and being special and unique. So come on down to the library and we hope to see you in. It, and also remember, picture books are for everyone of all ages. Thank you.